Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm gonna do another house vlog with you guys because I got a bunch of stuff for outside on my little, I don't know if you can even call it a patio, it's a slab of concrete, but behind me I have two chairs, a little table, and some covers and stuff for them. So the weather is finally nice enough for me to put them together outside. Um, it's been like 30 degrees the past couple days since they've been here and rainy and stuff. But today it's 65 degrees and sunny. It's 630 right now. So I have a little bit of sunlight left. Um, and then let's unpack these. I'll show you guys what they look like all put together. I'll show you guys the couple of little things I've done since my last like dedicated house vlog. And then I have a couple more things I'm hoping to get started over the next couple days and week or so. So I figured I would just do a dedicated house vlog for you guys as I kind of get all that stuff together. So let's jump into it. So have all the pieces unwrapped um, for the first chair and the little table. The second chair came in a separate box, so I'm just gonna do one at a time so I don't get like pieces mixed up, but here we go. Let's time myself. It's 6.58 right now. Let's see how long it takes me to build this. 23 minutes later, and we have one base of a chair done. One hour and 25 minutes later, it's 8.30 and I have one chair done. With that being said, I am going to call it quits for the night. I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm on night shift life this week, which is why I'm eating dinner at 8.30. If you guys know me, you know that is not normal for day shift. Um, but I'm out of breath from carrying that out there, but I am gonna stop for tonight. Um, my hands are like raw from Alan wrenching all the pieces together. It wasn't difficult. It was just time consuming and it really could benefit from having two people, which is always my struggle with building these furniture pieces for my house is I live alone and Nala doesn't have thumbs. So anyway, I will check back in for part two of building the patio furniture probably tomorrow if the weather's still good. So it's the next morning. I My hands literally still feel raw from trying to screw all those things in with the chairs. So I don't think I'm going to focus too hard on trying to build the table or the other chair today. But I did get these off of Target for my front steps. And there actually might be enough that I can put some in the backyard too. But um, I have to like assemble them. So I think I'm going to do this and then put them on... Um, in the grass next to my stairs in the front. Some of them are a little crooked, but that was the only way I could get them to actually stay. So we'll see how they look at night. My hair looks absolutely wild and crazy and I'm going to hate looking at this when I edit it, but I'm sitting in my bathroom right now. I have been very frustrated with my bathroom situation recently and just entirely because there's no drawers in here and I feel like my cabinets like my four little cabinets are just like overflowing with stuff because I'm used to having way more storage so I bought this off of Amazon to help me and we're gonna try and drill it into the wall um without any assistance from a second person. So stay tuned. So this is what I got. It's just this like little metal hot tool, like hair tool organizer. Um, and it has like holes to drill into the wall. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, by having this, I'll be able to take some of this mess out. Obviously not all of it, but just like some of it um, and I can just better make use of that space. Um, it did not come with any instructions or any, oh, oh, here it is. I was gonna say, it didn't come with anything to screw it in with, but here we go, stay tuned. Well, it's not 
incredibly aesthetically pleasing, but it'll do the job to get these out from underneath my cabinet. And then I can store um, some other things that are less bulky under my cabinet instead. Bathroom storage saga continues. I found this today at TJ Maxx and it's got five bins that like lock into place in here and it's narrow enough that like it doesn't block anything. Sorry, I have sweatpants just sitting on the ground over here, but it doesn't block anything. I have plenty of room to walk around. So I'm going to transfer my makeup into these so I can clear out. I don't even want to show you. I can't remember if I've showed you yet. It's so bad, you guys, like truly so bad. Like this part is fine. This part is not fine. I'm exploding out of my tiny little makeup drawer. So I'm gonna organize this into here, see how much room I have left, maybe move some hair stuff into here too. Um, so I can just use this space more effectively. And in the process, I'm going to declutter some things. Um, I'll probably make a TikTok about the stuff I'm decluttering or some sort of like short form content on the stuff I'm decluttering. Um, so stay tuned for that if it's not already up. But this is just way too much stuff. I don't even know what half of it is because I can't even get to half of it. And the Sephora sale is coming up. And if I want to buy more stuff at Sephora, I have to get rid of some of the stuff that I'm not using in here. So here's the before and then I'll show you guys the after. Also forgot to show you guys that I have this entire bin full of eyeshadow palettes and assorted stuff that didn't fit in the first place. So it's really bad. Okay, here's the after. It's certainly not perfect, perfect, but I was able to fit all of my hair stuff in here now. So like headbands, scrunchies, clips, all of my like hair care, skincare, mostly like backup stuff because I keep majority of it up there um and then I was able to do a little bit of reorganization in this this one's still a bit messy but it'll do and then this just has my portable mirror cleansing water and then I did face primers foundation concealer eye stuff and eyebrows blush, bronzer, highlighter, all of my lip stuff, and then eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow. Um, also, this um, insulation is from when I hung this. I just haven't vacuumed in here yet because I knew I was going to do all of this, but let me show you the pile I'm getting rid of. So I was able to fill up a mini garbage bag and then this whole um, I mean, there's some garbage in here too, but this gallon here is like full of stuff. So definitely cleared out quite a bit. Also here in the guest bath, I got some pictures hung up on the walls. And then in the guest bedroom, I hung this really cute Raleigh map that was drawn by Emily Brooks. Um, I had it in my bedroom in the apartment, but... I thought it could be kind of fun to do like a Raleigh themed guest room. I don't know. And then over here on this wall is the um, sign that my realtor gave me when I moved in. The last wall hanging update is I finally hung my little Monopoly property print again from my old apartment, but hung that in the bedroom and the bedroom furniture is coming tomorrow. One last update before we finally do the bedroom furniture, but my end table has finally arrived from West Elm to match my coffee table. It's just a solid, um, like circular piece. Um, it doesn't open and spin around like the coffee table, but I'm so excited to have like a true end table here and not just have like a pile of crap sitting here frankly um and it's really starting to feel like the downstairs is coming together bedroom furniture is here i'm gonna have to obviously like put sheets on the bed and like get it all organized but 
this is it i'm so excited to have these drawers under here and have all this extra storage um and then this dresser um it's gonna be so nice just to have a place for all of my things and have like another surface for things um i honestly probably could have fit a second nightstand but i didn't want to crowd the space too much but Oh, the house is like finally starting to feel done.